Hello, my name is uh, Rudy Degenhart. I'm a project manager with Tri-Signal Integration. We installed the fire alarm system out here at Travis Hangar 818 along with Desert Design. We also uh, provided engineering for this project and we also have multiple areas that we um, are involved with. We do a card access, CCTV, nurse call, um, any kind of low voltage monitoring. Um, we have eight branches across the west coast and feel free to call our local branch. It's 916-933-3155. Uh, uh, today we have um, a multi-panel system out here. Uh, we have our regular fire alarm system, which is the notifier, the NFS 3230. We have um, the safe path wheel lock system which is for the mass notification. It's responsible for providing all the audible signals, notification. And then we have for the foam releasing, uh, a releasing panel, the RP2000 by Notifier. And this is tied into everything related to the foam system. The supervisories will be the, the wheels for the shutdown, the tampers, and all that. So let's go over the first thing is usually um, your main display here is going to tell you everything that happens with anything else. Everything reports this right here. Uh, first thing you want to do is if you get a signal, uh, a trouble or a supervisory signal, there's no need for the fire department of course, you can come over here and investigate it. Uh, it will show you what the, uh, the trouble is. So right now we have a zone 7 tamper from the releasing panel. And the releasing panel is of course over here and it's also showing trouble, foam tampers. So first what you do is you'll be beeping, you'll hit the acknowledge button. That is the first thing you do. When you hit acknowledge, you're letting it know that you're going to verify with someone else to make sure they investigate the trouble or supervisory and if everything's all right. So basically we're going to go into alarm. All they must be setting stuff back again. They're redoing things here. So here we got a great example. Their wheels on the tampers indicate give us a supervisory signal. Zone three. All right, we know they're working on it. We can acknowledge it. We're good to go. So it's going to show us over here what's going on. Of course, this is already in trouble from earlier on here. Um, we're going to do an alarm. I'm just going to do a simple pull station and we're going to hear the bells and whistles. What it's all about, notification, getting people out. Each device is addressed with its own address. This is uh, loop one, module one. To activate it, pull down. You have an announcement on your LED screen. You have strobe strobing and you will hear the message. To reset, I'm just going to open it up, flip the toggle back up, put it in here. I want to walk over now here calmly. We know it's a test. First thing I want to do is it's flashing at me, tell me I have a fire alarm in the office, room 204, West, pool station. Mo loop one, module number one. I want to acknowledge that. And I want to do a signal silence. And this is going to run no matter what until I reset that. So I'll do a system reset. Thank you for your cooperation. I'll hit the acknowledge again. I don't have to touch anything over here. And we're all clear. Now, when the foam pool station is activated, that's the yellow ones, they are 
all located at every exit in the building. When those are activated, it will activate the releasing panel and this panel and this panel. So they all talk to each other. They're interconnected. One works, they all work together like a team. So in here, the voice evac, we have multiple messages already pre-programmed. Um, at any time, you can take the mic and get on the mic. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. And of course, the announcement's coming on. I got my lights flashing. I'm letting everybody know I got an event going on. Say uh, you need everybody to take cover right away. That's all you do, push it. When you want it to stop, you have to take it off, push it again. It's going to go through three cycles. Of course, this is the power supply that drives these speakers. All the batteries are down here. Again, when this is activated, it wants to know. Main panel, okay? So we have a general fire alarm activation. Like I said, this talks to this one. They all talk together. It's a team thing. So, we basically went over the evac system, the releasing panel. And I want to show you real quick if we want to disable a point. You will go ahead and hit uh, program alter status. The uh, user code will be eight zeros. And I want to uh, alter status menu. I want to disable or enable a device. Now push that black key. And this will be what we call a module because it will have an M for module. So I'm going to toggle this with the soft key over here for module. Okay, and it says loop one, module 27. So I'm going to go over here. I have my loop one. And I'm just going to go right there and hit two, seven. Hit escape, or accept, I'm sorry. And do I want to disable it? It wants to really confirm you want to disable it. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. As you see, the unit is now disabled. This would be done if you want to disable the IRs if there's going to be any welding going on. Um, it's convenient. You won't be calling the fire department out for no good reason. And it's just the way you do it. So I'll back out of here. And of course, it's going to let me know, hey, you got something disabled. Okay. This will repeat every 24 hours. I can't leave this um, off for very long. It will let me know, hey, get it fixed every 24 hours. It'll bring in a situation or a, a clearance reminder. All right. I'm going to go back in there. I'm going to enter my passcode. And I want to bring that back online, accept, alter status menu, disable, enable, uh, push it again one more time for the module, and we want 27, 2, 7, accept, and I want to put it back in service by hitting the enable. And you'll see it starting to flash again. Okay, we are done. Back, back. I'm out of there. So now we've covered an alarm situation, um, voice evac. As you can see, everything is one button push. 
Uh, resetting the pull station, pretty simple. Um, also activating and or enabling and disabling a point, which would probably be the IRs out in the hangar for if they're doing any welding. Um, we've also went over how to silence the panel and to acknowledge it. Mm, that's pretty much basically it. You're going to get, if there is a power outage, these will go for 48 hours and 60 minutes of alarm if there's a power outage. So that's a long time. Great backup. Thank you. I appreciate you being here.